in on please have all the mana. And he's playing yeah. against uh, Kurt Crane playing the uh, Loam deck we saw earlier. Yeah, so Kurt Crane is up one game to zero as they, uh, they're they on turn two of, of game two. Is that a beta underground scene? Look at, look at this fancy Yeah, guy. I think it's German. I think that German? Might, yeah, okay. I think that might be a German underground scene. You're right, the print's too small for yeah, me. We've got two Grove... Well, you can also just tell from the shading. Yeah. Uh, anything that dark is definitely going to be a European black border uh, uh, underground scene. The uh, two Grove of the Burn Willows and Mox Diamond on Kurt's side ensures that he basically has his colors all set uh, for the most part. And then um, Bernie, Underground Sea, Tropical Island Wasteland also has his colors. We're seeing two remarkably not mana screwed players. Right. Not usual in Legacy. Here's the big problem. Boom! The, big, the big problem for Bernie is this matchup is atrocious because of one card. <laughs> That's a big problem. Atrocious. <laughs> it's a huge problem. Punching fire. It kills your death rush shines. It kills your death confidence. It kills your stoneforge mace. It kills your snapcaster mace. It kills your keeping tar pit. Kills literally every card in your deck. It's it, like once punishing fire gets going, he's literally down to uh, his four different planeswalker. He, yeah, basically he just has planeswalkers and batter skull to try to. Yes. And batter skull's a real bad way to do it too, because it often just kills batter skull. Yeah, yeah. You can just buy it back in the same turn and cast well, it. Well, and for free off oh, yeah. the batter skull. Oh yeah, life gain. Oh, thank you. Appreciate yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. So he has Elspeth in his hand. Uh, yeah, he has a tropical island with his no green spells in his deck, pretty much. So he's probably not casting Elspeth for about. Five ten years here. The good news uh, is he has wasteland to try to fight himself. Ooh, I th they do not see any more land. And that being said, wow, even he... if he had the lands, Bernie again he is facing down. He's playing this greedy deck against a uh, punching fire wasteland deck, and of course Chalice of the Void for one. Here's a matchup where we see Chalice of the Void actually lock you down. You play that for one, it stops. Let me come to stop here. Four death right, it stops. Uh, Brainstorm, Swords of Plowshares, Thought Seas, Inquisition of Kozilek, uh, Death Rite Shaman, um, and then in the board Cabal Therapy, therapy he's got Cabal Therapy in his hand. I mean. Oh, he got Wastelanded again? Good lord. Yeah, there's well, a Chalice for one, Yeah, too. and he's getting Wastelanded from here on out. Oh, he has a uh, Lobe, yeah. This is a... Uh, and uh, a Chalice on one, Brainstorm from here on out, and zero basics. Bernie is never going to play another spell, right? Like, yeah, this is it. I, I hate to, you know, be the bearer of bad news, but at the beginning of the match when we talked about consistency, when you're the other variety of stone blade, the Esper blade, without having death blade involved, without the fourth color, you have four basic lands in your deck. This deck has zero, and against this deck, you go fetch land, island, plains, and you're casting spells for the rest of the game. God, it feels like only two turns ago when both players were not mana screwed and could actually play cards. Yep. Now we're on the uh, Bernie will not play card for the rest of the game. Because even if he draws a land, the Chalice for one's going to stop from playing anything. So here we're going to see Life from the Loam. Uh, now, do you, if you're, if you're Kurt, do you sacrifice the uh, Dryad Arbor to your Knight of the Reliquary first, so just to get another card back? I guess it doesn't matter. You have sure. way too many lands in your hand. Right now, what I would do is wasteland the wasteland, just to put him at zero lands. Yeah, who cares, right? Yeah. Go ahead, and knock yourself out. Yep. All right. So this game is over. Uh, there's nothing in Magic he can do. He can never play a land. Even if he plays a fetch land, it's not going to do much because of the Chalice. He would have to draw a fetch land every turn. That's Thalia. Kurt pointing out that it's a hard lock. Yeah. I have Thalia, and I'm going to waste you every turn, and I have none of the Reliquary. Okay, so Bernie winning in, not feeling the grace. Bernie so. draws Caracas, which actually does something, which makes him want to consider fighting back because now when he goes Caracas, oh, he offers the hand. Yeah. All right. So Every time Kurt we Crane, see you to commentate on this, it seems like this happens. <laughs> this yeah, I mean, well, there's, there is a lot of getting mana screwed in Legacy. Yeah. Uh, Non-consensual mana screw, I guess. It's right. like Kurt Crane's four-color loam deck operating in full gear.